Ah! Well, okay, that was pretty bad. Imagine this completely realistic scenario that anyone could encounter. You're in your kitchen shredding your favorite blocks of cheese because pre-shredded just doesn't cut it. Suddenly, you hear an intruder breaking into your home. With no time to think, you grab your trusty cheese grater and head to confront the intruder. Could that cheese grater serve as an effective self-defense tool? And just how much damage could it cause to a person? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna find out by pretending I'm a block of cheese. So you're a cheese head, not a meat head. Are you happy with that? I'm only gonna get one chance to say that, so yes, I'm very happy with that. <sighs> Let's go shred me. So if you don't know how a cheese grater work, first off, what is wrong with you? I don't understand how you can't understand how it doesn't or does work. Let's not start off by insulting people and their knowledge of cheese craters and I their mean, function. Fine. I feel like we don't need to do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. If you don't know how a cheese grater works, we're gonna demonstrate it on this watermelon here. Mark, go ahead. As you can see, it's slowly shredding off pieces of the watermelon. And that's how a cheese grater works. Now that that's done, are you happy, Mark? I am. Glad I got it out of the way. Mark really wanted to do that, so. Now that we've demonstrated how the cheese grater works, I'm gonna explain how we're gonna do this experiment. If you're getting attacked, your attacker isn't just gonna sit there and let you grate them, right? So first, we're gonna use the cheese grater as a striking weapon. Some slaps, a slap and a drag. And we're gonna see what that does. Eventually we'll get to some actual grating, which doesn't seem very practical, but I need to know what happens if that does happen. If you are getting attacked, grab a kitchen knife and you'll be a lot better off, most likely. What if you don't own kitchen knives and you only have cheese graters? You got a cheese problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some cheese, man. What can I say? You're not even a Packers fan. Should I, get, should I understand that? Yeah. I don't watch football. <laughs> First cheese grater up to test. Very small grating holes. Mark, I just want like a 75% power slap into my arm. Avoid my big, large vein if you can. Okay. So kind of like right here. Just a nice slap. Okay, yep, uh, that's, I learned a lot from that. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's bad. <laughs> 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 this is why we didn't do this video. <laughs> This is going to be a saucy one. This is the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bent you printed my arm onto it. It's a little bit bent now. Damn! <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should get a towel to wipe the data. Because otherwise... Yeah. 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 <sighs> I'll be back. And it's gone. Healed. Healed. 100% power slap. Just give it all you got. I was hoping you are asking for that. Now, when I say slap, I don't mean slap and drag, just, just a slap. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. Oh, lordy. <laughs> oh, my. Woo! Oh, wow. That was an effective hit. Like a little puckered. Effective, you say, huh? Yeah, look at that. That's a good bend. It was effective, but not as effective as the sponsor of this video, Bucked Up. Will bucked up help that? Nope, yeah, probably make it worse to be honest. Still buy it, just yeah, in case. Yeah. Just don't get hit with a cheese grater before you go to the gym and you're fine. Yeah, just don't rob people. Yeah, don't, don't make someone use a cheese grater on you. As many of you know, I'm a gym rat. And after extensively testing the pre-workouts and supplements that I received from Bucked Up, I cannot recommend them enough. They have no proprietary blends, which means you know exactly what you are consuming. And they use effectively dosed, science-backed ingredients. Bucked Up has everything that I personally look for in a pre-workout, which is why I know it'll work great for all of you. If you don't believe me, you can try it out yourself for free. Simply click the link below and you'll receive four buck shots along with two bonus shots. And all you need to do is cover the shipping costs. And if you're interested in exploring other fantastic products on their website, use code JONES to enjoy a generous 20% discount. Well, no one could say that Mark didn't slap me hard. Uh, it's actually broken now. So we're gonna conclude the smallest hold cheese grater with this test. As you can see, it was decently effective in the cutting department. Uh, I don't think they're deep cuts, but it definitely hurt. Wouldn't want to get this slapped across my face. Let's move on. We're gonna move on to one with slightly uh, bigger holes. That's way too big. <laughs> 
This is better. Slightly <laughs> bigger exactly holes. No, no, no. <laughs> They're not the same. Look it. Oh, okay. These are slightly smaller. We're gonna do a full power slap onto my chest with this one and see what we collect. What, what if I accidentally take off your nipple? Don't do that. But what if it does happen? Don't do that. Like hypothetically. Hypothetically, <laughs> I murder you. Do you need them? I mean, yeah, you're not producing anything with them. I think people will remember you more no, if you didn't have nipples. They're my nipples, so I don't want to lose them. World's strongest man without nipples, that's just, you know, it's got a ring to it. You could last titty twisters a lot longer. Just go, guys, just leave me here. Just go. Come on, Mark. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my, sh my shoes! <laughs> At least I didn't hit you. At least I didn't hit you. You know, I was, I was being considerate. Just cheese grate me already. Okay, just a full power slap with this cheese grater. No, oh, no, no, away from the mic. Thank right here. You. Don't hit me in the throat. I think it's just gonna bend in half. Only one way to find out. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I, I can't go through you, so I have to just let me, let me, let me finish my job. Get away from me. Let me finish my, <laughs> let me finish my job. He's got scrapes in his sternum. When did you get a cat? <laughs> You're right, you did bend it. Maybe the chest isn't a good target. Well, if I go like right here, I can't like do a full swing like. You're right, you were coming down, you need to come across. Take two. Okay. That was, that was good. A slight cut there. Not as bad. The first one was a lot, a lot more effective. Well, you're also hitting my arm. I don't know if the chest is a... Uh... You want me to do this, sir? Okay. You gotta pop the chest We can out. try this arm over here. All right, well, that one. Yeah. Where'd that come from? No. You almost Jesus. got it. Stop. God. I'm a self-contained system. Okay. <laughs> are you are you okay there, Amy? No, I was gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> I slapped my other arm. But this time I want a 75% power slap drag. Kind of feels like you've been dragging it just naturally, which makes sense. I think uh, slap normally always comes back to you, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, it does. But let's have a little bit more intent with hitting and pulling. No matter what happens here, I'm not gonna react. Just gonna collect the data and everyone should like the video for the scientific process that's been seen here today. I'll try my best to make them react. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but. Uneasy, that's how you should feel. You suck at this. <laughs> I'm going across. I'm gonna keep the deal going. Let's upgrade the cheese grater to this one. Bigger holes. I am thinking more of a here. Oh. Yeah, so you hit, you hitting, pulling. Hit, pull, hit, pull, hit, pull. Really, really differentiate the two. Uh -huh. He was kind of naturally already doing it with those other slaps. Like when he did this up one here, it went all the way, oops. <laughs> forgot about that. Um, he's already naturally doing it though, so just don't think so hard about it. I can't even do this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Pulled it away because you've made that noise, but. It was it's... like the last one. Yeah, it was a little bit more effective, I think I'd say. I think that cheese grater, the one we broke, is just really good. This one, uh, it's a little things protruded out more, the, the grating things. I don't know if you can see that. But these here, they kind of protrude out a little bit more, so it's stuck into me. Maybe because, I think it's because I'm going down this way, and like with this arm, I was going this way, so there's more friction. I would let you hit me. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> let me wipe that up. Of course, like the video because I was pretty stoic there. I mean, it still had an effect. Honestly, I don't think the slap and drag is the move. I think just a pure slap. 
Yeah, slap. Give me a max power slap with that one. On that arm? No, let's leave that arm alone. We got two arms for a reason. Two day to collect. I'll just shoulder. Fine, whatever. Redo. Oh, God. Oh, I was doing the wrong side, man. You. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> you have one job. I'm, uh, I'm not always fit for this. <laughs> now that you've kind of bowed it the other way, it should Work honestly better. be more effective, I would think, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, full plan. power slap to the shoulder with the correct side now. <laughs> that sounds awful. Hmm. Not bad. Interesting. Sounds bad. Is this like like a high quality? Yeah, this one's like really light. This one's pretty heavy. Well, I'm telling you. It's the, the quality of these. It's so light. It's cheap. In. It's cheap. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're yeah. moving on. Yeah. This is, uh, I would say, like a standard household cheese grater. Gives you a lot of options. I feel like we've tested this whole size. Cuts a little bit, not that effective. This is the whole size we just did. We haven't tried this one right here. Now these protrude out, so I feel like the effectiveness is going to be pretty good on this one in terms of the cutting and grating action. What about that one? We're, we're gonna do that one, right? I think that's just a hole to aerate uh, the cheese. Looks like a grate. No, I'm pretty sure that just like, make sure the cheese is nice and aerated as it's... Yeah. So, so we're gonna do this one right here. Uh, Didn't realize you were ever scared of something. Oh, he's got you there. I mean, we can do it. It's gonna be a lot of scared. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Mark. <laughs> Why'd you have to do this? Oh, start off slow and easy. We'll do this side, then we'll do this side. I don't think this is gonna be that effective though. It won't. I really don't. I think this will be more effective. And when it is more effective, I don't want to make, I never, I was going to make a bet there and uh, I felt like that just wouldn't work that poorly for me. So let's just hit me with this side and <laughs> see what happens. I just want a nice 75% power swing into my quad. There we go. Well, that's what we like to see. Kind of cool. Kind of artistic. Oh. Yeah, I guess you're yeah. next. No. He's he's down, so Sorry. someone's got to finish the video. So take a look at this. The indents kind of made a nice indent on me. Could you imagine if you tattooed all of your scars on yourself? Hey, all things considered, I'm not that scarred up. Okay, every damage, like bruise. After, like immediately after it happens? Yeah. Oh, it'd be a lot cheaper. <laughs> He'd be all black. Yeah. Be some missing parts. Well, no, I honestly, my whole, honestly, pretty much my entire body. I think my sides here would be okay. My face. You'd have a white wiener. No, I've got shot in my balls and penis, tip of my penis uh, with stuff. Yeah. Been tased in there too. Tased in the taint. Oh, a taint tattoo? Ooh. <laughs> That's. Yeah, pretty much every square inch of my body's been hurt. My eye I got tattooed my eyeballs and been pepper sprayed. Joey saved nothing for himself. <laughs> yeah, it's in pretty good shape. It's a little bad. Hey, all things considered, not too bad. The structural integrity of these cheese graters is really not intended for human eating. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, you, you think the cheese grater companies would... Uh, Take that into consideration. Yeah, you know, the potential of a home invasion while you're grating cheese and the need to use your cheese grater for a self-defense item. I mean, that's what everybody thinks about. Well, yeah, I mean... Certainly what I think about. Yeah. You just gotta get the Cadillac of cheese graters. This is the Cadillac of cheese That's the Walmart. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon. Same thing. You're a company that makes high quality cheese graters. <laughs> what do you want? A damn... Stain These are stainless steel. Uh, what do you, like, uh... What construction would tungsten. make you happy? Tungsten. 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 tungsten cheese yeah, you grater. want a 15, 20 pound cheese grater. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. 100% <laughs> power hit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's gonna do something. Oh my gosh. Well, Mark ruined the cheese grater. I kind of made an arrow. Look at it. Oh, arrow down. But he did. More art. This is artistic, YouTube. And that fits safely in the guidelines. Very So friendly. we, entertainment, education, we're learning. Uh -huh. We're learning. Yeah. And now art. And you're not getting harmed because you don't feel anything. 
Mm -mm. I mean, I feel the data. Yeah. Feel. I feel the education. Take a look. Clearly they're not meant to strike up human, is what I'm learning, but I, I don't think anyone needed to be told that. It's pretty effective this side. I'm gonna have you hit me that with this, just a hit, maybe like 75% power, see what happens. Yeah. And then after that, we got uh, the worst part of this video. Oh, okay. I think that was it right there. That line. Oh. And ah. it, she's done for. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You smacked her right in there. Yep, that's uh, that's about all we can do there. And when you look at that, Houston was right. Did nothing. That's why you're the head scientist. <laughs> I know a lot about things. Well, I know I said at the start of this video, a attacker or robber just won't sit there and let you grade them. But what if they did? We got a plate of spaghetti over there. We're gonna season it with a little bit of Houston. Delicious. It's gonna be some high protein spaghetti. I hope, I really hope. Well, let's make some tasty pasta, huh? No, wait. So Mark did a nice, generous, less pressure pull. If that was a block of cheese. You would have shredded it a little bit. We're gonna get, uh, need a little bit more power, I think, to get uh, some nice skin shredding. Okay. Nothing. You're just turning me white, whiter. Yeah, this. That's the only thing that's gonna do it. We're gonna have to. So let's uh, get some grating with this. I think this is gonna season our sketty very nice. Ah! Well, okay, that was pretty bad. Yep. I saw some skin flakes come off there. You don't. You don't see the red. Oh, yeah. Now I do. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't see the the red? <laughs> no, now I see it. Yeah. Got to got to be safe now you're no no won't get infected. You're welcome. That's a lot. That's a lot of salt. <laughs> 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 well, I feel like it'd be criminal not to try it. This is self cannibalism. Uh being yeah, I think so. salty. <laughs> It'd be rude not to offer your guests some spaghetti. There you go. <laughs> you just made my dog eat me. I, you guys are like he, yin and yang. He knows my flavor now. That's why he always he's looks at <laughs> He's never going to be sa satiated again. It's pretty good, eh? Why are you standing some? so far away? You should try spaghetti flavored with Houston. It looks so cool. That's gross. I think salt helps you claw it up faster. <sighs> Regardless of that fact, uh, I'm gonna check back in in a couple days and let you know what I think about cheese graters as a self-defense tool. And show you my cheese grated body. It's time for the cheese grater data review. Three days after the experiment, I had scabs on my arm, quad, and calf from the various cheese grater attacks. Also, I think it's important to note that the recovery from this experiment wasn't bad at all. It felt like minor road rash for a day. Then after that, I hardly noticed it. With that being said, I can safely conclude that a cheese grater would not make for a good or effective self-defense tool. In my opinion, they are simply incapable of causing enough pain or damage to deter a determined attacker. Honestly, I'm surprised the cheese grater wasn't more effective. I was more scared of this item than I've been scared of actual weapons. But as it turns out, I guess that's why a cheese grater is meant to shred cheese and not humans. Who would have guessed? But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to know what you think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching this completely ad-friendly video and I'll see you all in the next one.